Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. My great-great-grandfather, Charles Clark, served as the 24th governor of Mississippi from November 16, 1863 to May 22, 1865, until he was forcibly removed from office by occupying forces of the United States Army. Born in Lebanon, Ohio, near Cincinnati on this day, May 24th in 1811, Clark eventually moved to Mississippi, where he became the owner of Doro, a large plantation in the Delta. Following succession of Mississippi in early 1861, Clark was appointed as a brigadier general in the Mississippi First Corps, a state militia organization that later entered the Confederate Army. He commanded a division under Leonis Polk at the Battle of Shiloh before being promoted to the rank of major general of the Mississippi State Troops in 1863. He led a division at the Battle of Baton Rouge where he was severely wounded and captured, serving time as a prisoner of war. In November 1863, however, Clark was inaugurated as governor of Mississippi and served in that capacity until he was replaced by William L. Sharkey, a respected judge and a staunch unionist who had been in total opposition to succession. Clark was briefly in prison at Fort Pulaski near Savannah, Georgia. In 1871, Clark purchased Ruthland, a house in Natchez. Clark died in 1877 at the age of 66 and is buried in the family cemetery at Doro. This is Bob M. Deering, State Senator, District 37. It's been my honor and privilege to bring you this History Minute on Governor Charles Clark, my great-great-grandfather.